We've come to Shanghai to show you the future of clinical and translational medicine. It's another progress report. Meet Professor Georgi Marko Varga. He's visiting here in Shanghai at the second Sino-American Clinical and Translational Medicine Symposium. Thank you for uh, joining us today. You're speaking at the conference. Yes, correct. And uh, you're visiting from Sweden, but you're involved with a global scientific community. Talk about the work of your team, institution, and, and your role as uh, president of the Proteomics Association of Europe. Right now what is happening is that um, there are enormous amount of work being done in industry. We are able to generate more and more drug candidates, but as you go forward you need to line that in with disease and disease specificity. So we are trying to target different phenotypes, groups of patients, so we can treat more effectively. Now the group in Sweden, that I do work both at the academical side and the hospital, we're trying to move in a direction to link in disease understanding, pathology, development of disease, but also drug treatment of that. So how do you link the two? So you need to be specific because you really want the drug to affinity bind to a key regulating protein in disease. And what you're hoping for is that the side effects will be zero. Now doing that, it's also very important to have access to clinical material. And this is where the whole healthcare industry comes in. Going from lab bench experiments and to predict dose in man. That sounds easy, very complicated. So when you go in, you need major investments to do that from, let's say, industry. With all the investment, obviously, there's a great demand for technologies to, you know, push the boundaries of what we were able to analyze before and understand. Our flagship technology area, like mass spectrometry, for example, you know, can you describe how that's working to, again, support your efforts and accelerate results? Almost 20 years ago, I, I was involved early on in order to develop some of the mass spec instrumentation that you did at the time. So if we go down the line almost 20 years today, we are at the position where mass spectrometry actually is key in the area of drug development, but also for coming up for the diagnostic area. So here what you can do is actually you can do one assay cycle where you actually can measure, let's say 10, let's say 20, 30. That means that in one cycle go of a given time period, you will get quantitative data, let's say from 30 markers that are very important for the patient. Now this is absolutely a unique development because right now you're driving 30 ELISAs or any type of, of assay, and they are actually not under the same condition. So here you also get the benefit, you have the sequence, so you know exactly what you're addressing. Going the mass spec route, I think that there is a lot of opportunities for the future. You actually can address for specific diseases biomarkers that can be in the future diagnostics. Looking to clinical chemistry in like five years, I think it will be revolutionized. And you will see very, very different ways and different instrumentation in these laboratories. See more innovative solutions for your toughest analytical challenges at thermoscientific.com.